heroic in that previous map, except Cadian, four to the seven of the Danish Orpa. And now he needs to show it more than ever on another heavy AWP map. We're going to go right into it. Heroic T-side start and fast up the short side. They dodge Liquid's con setup in their pistol. Now they dodge Na'Vi's long setup in this one. It feels like Heroic always are in your heads. Na'Vi going to have to back out. Simple quick shots from long. They see him at least now with the bomb going down. They know why the site is so free. Na'Vi are coming in five up for the retake. Yeah, Boomich has got this one flash. It has got to be the God flash. And oh my God, never mind Boomich's flashbang. Heroic pushed through with a flash from Cadian. Oh. This is a chaos. Electronic doesn't know where to look. Refresh dead in the sight. Heroic poised for a two on two hold and Cadian still sat back oh. in the toilets. Now these problems are getting worse and worse. The kit is actually under Tessez right now. Bit looking for this trade, and even though he gets it, there's just not enough time to win the round. Heroic, they come through showing a very confident face to open up this pistol round. Oh, Heroic might have even realized that. Maybe I'm looking in too deep, right? Like knowing the kid's going to be down on that B side, playing CT, playing the rotate. But regardless of the info there, what a great chase down into spawn to kill those rotates. Yeah. They knew that with Navi doubled up on long, what, you know, Navi can either retake from long and, and time it with the CT players, or they can wrap back toilets, which is where Heroic are trying to play their post plan and so instead of any of that going down heroic just chase navi into their hidey hole it's one way to start the game three rifles right in refresh not on a mac this time around he's got the best gun on the go navi are going to force simple throwing himself into middle had a hugely impactful first map so did electronic Flash won't do much though. Refresh sees that right side monster player. Imperfecto is now trapped out. Smoke will give him a bit of room to move. And Electronic plays close to Stown on the corner. No one wanting to make that first mistake. But maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe it's exactly what Electronic needs. Oh, maybe not. Stown takes him down and now Heroic hold off. Yeah, if you remember back on Mirage, Heroic couldn't convert their pistol round victory. Well, they're looking to make it happen here where it matters most. A man up already and now working these toilets. Bit is ahead of these players and they might bypass them all together. I'm assuming they're going to check this. They know he could have hit a timing and Bit's actually getting out of there now. Trying to dodge this toilet play, but he's still right at the forefront oh. of it. Can't find anything with that Deagle and Simple. Dead up in the sight. Now, there is this early oh. rotation from Perfecto, and he has driven the head of Shush right off the mark. But there's the trade, Heroic. They do convert this pistol yeah. round. They go 2-0 up, and there's a third waiting in the wings after that Na'Vi 4 spy. They're feeling good, and that's shown by the 4-on-1. They find Perfecto on the site, and they don't, you know, double back with the bomb through Connector, go to the free B plant. No, everyone just pushes him. They chase him down. Not allowing that Deagle to get away with much more than one. This has not been a very, you know, often played map for Na'Vi. They have run it once this tournament with a close overtime win over Fnatic. Otherwise, haven't seen it since Cologne where they lost to Vitality. So, Na'Vi, they've got to watch out. Heroic couldn't even feel the victory here against Liquid on this map despite picking it up. They seem a lot more ready to go now. They took Na'Vi to the edge back on Mirage and they're already starting stronger than ever here on Overpass. Nice hunt for Boomich. Takes down Stown, but already Kady to your back line, baby. He's not letting you get that gun or do anything with it. He tries to knife. Could that be the oh, undoing? No. Bit's doubled up. You don't want to mess with Bit. What a mistake. As if, as if, right? It's always something to do with Simple and Na'Vi, right? And this squad and knives and... Maybe it costing you around like, oh, heroic. They, they came into this feeling confident. Now that might be too confident. Oh. You don't want to be remembered as the guy who tried the knife bit and then had him snipe the round away from you. This was a full eco. And so what went from a barrel of laughs for heroic? An easy third round, they said. Is now hanging in the balance. That okay. kill to bit gives you a lot more room, makes you a lot less worried. Simple doesn't buy it for a second that this is the B play. He's rotating back up into heaven. But it is the play in through B. And Heroic have got the sight, so they've navigated this one well. 
Kadian's gonna be thanking his team so much right about now. Like, bit, it's one thing to get that kill, it's another thing to get the second. That was a bit too far. Now, simple. This round is anything but. The out, and the shot missed. It's just a close, as it always should have been. A clean round, maybe, for Heroic. Like, yeah, sure, you're trying to get in the heads of Na'Vi. We talk about this a lot, like, the, the concept of knifing or, or shooting dead bodies. And Stewie was talking about this recently and, and saying, like, oh, yeah, you know, if it gets in the head, really, that's all that matters. At the end of the day, it's the mental game that can make your opponents crumble. But maybe that makes you crumble. And not just emotionally, but economically. That was supposed to be clean for Heroic. It was anything but. Let's see if Na'Vi can capitalize on the damage done in that full eco. Well, it's looking like a very, very big change of pace here. Another one of these fast B plays, perhaps. Electronic is love fighting in the short side, but the results just aren't there. Bit swinging out of con, at least helps pull it back for the time being. Perfecto, dead at barrels. Boom, it's trying to hold on to the B side, but doesn't want to add to their problems. Is instead just peppering it with utility and setting up for a three on three retake that's going to have to come through if Navi want to hit the ground running when the guns come out. It's a really good plant as well, the Heaven Orb. The smoke faded, Simple was not given anything. Flanked in from short, they will have heard this. They know Bit was here earlier on, and it was a very dangerous plant to put it in his face, but Hiroka just hiding down, ducked in the pit right now. Simple's given nothing, no avenue into this retake, and at a certain point, you've got to cut your losses. Will Simple bring the scissors, or will he just evade capture? Seems like the latter getting out of this round. Heroic go 4-0 up on the T side. Simple's save is not guaranteed either. Two players running his way. He's just going to try and dodge them. Let them go by. Oh, quick shot. Oh, no, the trade, though. Kadian was wide. He swung back. Simple didn't know. And so that orb is gone. He could have kept it if he didn't repeak. Confidence. Puts Na'Vi on the back burner and puts Heroic 4-0 up. Flawless on their map pick. I think it's just very, very interesting because it's like, you know, you, you think about who's on this Na'Vi team, you think about, you know, the, the most impactful duo in Counter-Strike right now, Simple Electronic, right? You've got these promising young guns and guys like Perfecto and Bit, and then you've got this this leader who's really not afraid to throw himself into the action in Boomich, but the, the whole Na'Vi squad always feel very respectful and, and like to err on the side of caution, whereas uh, Heroic, it, it's like... Especially when you look at the names of like when this squad first came around, it was very much a case of like greater than the sum of their individual parts, right? Sure. And they're very, very keen to flex and play an aggro game, you know, throw caution to the wind at times. That's one way of calling that knife, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, it's not something that you ever really see for this Na'Vi squad. And normally, whenever you have, you know, fair play, it has come back to leave them with like some every, haunting memories. Everyone's done it. Yeah. Everyone's <laughs> done it, really, at this point. And they still go back for it. No one learns from their mistakes. Anything to get that edge. Navi, they, they stacked B early on, oh. and then they went back up to A after not seeing or hearing anything for the longest time. That kill to Bit is only further going to sail you down the river, as it were, right, into believing that this is the A play. Now you hear the utility going over, and at this point, Navi are probably coming to terms with just saving, you know, the pistols, the armor, the AK on simple. And just letting this round slip by the wayside. There's not really much you can do here. Yeah, Heroic's B takes are looking really nice as well. Even though they're not using a, a huge amount of util, it's often just, you know, Heaven, Smoke, Barrel, Molly, flash them in. Uh, and, and they all charge Pit immediately. They love just getting complete control and making sure that no one at Na'Vi is sneaking in in the water about to deny Bomb Plant or make the round weird. Heroic, full convinced B take. And no one there for Na'Vi, like you said, the save. 5-0 on the T side is a damn good start. And money is the CT overpass dream, right? You need those orbs, you need that util to stop the B play. You're also somewhat gambling and hoping you get spawns for simple to take these mid fights to get early information to know where Heroic is starting their round. What kind of default is it? Is it a faster one? Heroic really good at switching up the pace on the T side of this map. 
I hope Navi can, can arrive to the server soon, right? Because it's been yeah. a very, very quiet start here. And it might be one of these games where if it doesn't start soon, it never starts at all. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, overpass is always... ...five monster. You want B-Water. You want to be able to throw easy at Util from there as well and split the site. So if Navi can actually get control, that's one thing. But we've just seen kind of dry peaks for Electronic on shore. It needs to be more measured. It needs to be more utility. There's a flash this time. Electronic catches them by surprise. And he even goes back to finish the job. Perfecto now dealing with a monster rush. And this is why you want to split through the pipe and they get churned up. Two left for Heroic, and that is more like it for Na'Vi on B. Yeah, very relieving to finally see that short control take work out, right? Like, thus far, it's been a consistent point of concern. Heroic have been winning that fight over Electronic time and time again. Well, there we see it work in all its glory. It completely shuts down this B split from the word go. Uh oh They're even looking to extend back in now. Luckily enough, some missed shots. Ooh. Out is simple, and Cadian will pick up that kill. Stown might hit this timing over here in middle as bits left up. Taking the party, Stown has heard it. Oh no, now it's a two on two. And while that little, you know, weird double push it short that didn't find the kill on Cadian, didn't feel like it was going to matter much in the moment. The swing back in from Electronic, and now Stown's flank hitting a good timing. It's made this a doable round all of a sudden. Yeah, that was very weird. Like, Simple, obviously expecting Cadian to be looking his way. Cadian was holding for the jump or the boost, and Simple just runs away. But that lets Cadian turn, and then Electronic repeats. And well, of course, Cadian's already on the angle. You missed your shot. You should have called it at that. Boomich needs two, and he at least gets the first. Cadian and one health remains, but Simple has no grenades. It's going to have to be the Deagle. Warbangs are a common factor, and Simple's got them all. Spam through the box. We see him do that time after time with orbs, with Deagles. He's got it. Just looking for bonus utility, anything extra, even a smoke, a little deal, a $300 save. There's a Molotov. That's nice. Yeah, kind of poetic as well that like that round got tricky because Simple misses the, the Deeg shot on Cadian and then closes it out with arguably the, the hardest shot, I guess, yeah. like through the, the wall bang. I mean, Cadian was so always one shot. Even when he came around short, he could have, you know, one bullet would have done it. But this is big. Like, finally, you've been able to garner a bit of respect over the ward short. Yeah, and now Arog are probably going to go back to either defaulting, doing the 3 one one that they like to do, or just doing heavy A rounds, right? Na'Vi have shut them out of B1s, and Heroic have barely shown anything on this T side, but they're still up 5-1. They've got plenty more in the wheelhouse to throw in. So let's see what the change is. Very loud towards B, but it's not a commit. They're really trying to scare Electronic away from taking that control, but he does not care. He's walked it again. What a dangerous decision. Something here that's pretty interesting as well. Like, think back to that, uh, you know, kind of heroic liquid matchup. Whenever you have heroic on this map, usually there's a lot of attention around the connector, but not so much in this Na'Vi game so far. Na'Vi haven't really led into it too much either. Oh, Simple. There's mid damage through the smoke. He'll take that. Not that he knows he's dealt it out just yet. But it's still in the long toilets, and he's kind of on a bit of a, a bit of an island here. He can go back right now, but he doesn't know that is the problem. Oh, he finished it with another wall bang twice onto Tessez. Oh yeah, you can't jump past Simple's down. He's not gonna let you. You're pretty much alone in holding this A site down, and Simple's doing a great job now. Bits come back from long. Is here to help out. Simple mollied out of position. They do get him down low, but will they be ready for this long pincer of bit? Refresh. He checked it in the pistol. He's going to have to do it again, and it's a lights out headshot. Bit cleared out. Dinked in the process, but that allowed the plant and refresh plays up close. They're going to chase him, hunting him down, and they finish him off. Three on three. Hiroka back in control of this round. Boomich needs a multi, and he's doubled down as they line up. Finishing what bit started leaves Cadian in the clutch. 1v3, it's a default plant. Cadian waits. They're already sticking. Four, five seconds. No problem. Cadian missed shot, and he's a dead man. Boomich, massive round off of the FAMAS. Locked it down a B with flashes for Electronic, and now he's taking names up on the A retake. Heroic come to him, and he is more than willing to receive two rounds for Na'Vi, and both in a row is going to be a nice confidence booster as well as money. Yeah, 
beautiful boomage round. Get a burst. All right, lad. Naughty. All right, not every day that you see that. Simple, not getting very aggressive with these mid peaks, often just playing back in the toilets, giving some semblance of respect to heroic. They're fast out middle. They've taken this control with three waiting back outside of B. Likely going to try and get rotations onto this upper site. It's all going to hinge on getting away with a kill. And with that not happening, you're really only left with this utility dump into B. Got Cadian to come in through short after these three players get out monster. So how's this going to go? You're a man down. You need the openers. Electronic at short. Wins his fight again and takes this control away. He can come in with the side swipe, wow. and there's Simple to close it. Since that orb's come out, since the guns have come through, and guys like Electronic are getting a better feel for the game over towards short. What's the mid spawn? I wonder if he's going to take it. Oh, instead, he's dipping down Khan. I mentioned we haven't really seen a lot of connector action so far. So will you be ready for simple Zorp here? Tess says is not. And that's a very early five on four. There's no chance to trade that. Simple gets away with it for free. Because of the early damage onto Perfecto, they're going to lean into a retake setup over here towards this B site, employing the boost. But the goal just being to try and strip a player from the tally, right? If you can get it into a five on three, you've still got a player in the site to give you a little more resistance, and maybe it makes them discount this boost as well. Once the smoke miss, they're going to go through. Here comes the push. Simple's throwing another one in, but it's going to arrive too late, you'd like to think. They spot the boost, but Electronic with the swing takes the frag, oh, and the molly oh, even oh. burns Shush out. This B play turns to dust before our very eyes, and Stown and Kadia might just be left saving in a two on five, never yeah. even really making a dent in Na'Vi this round. I mean, Kadia wanted to play his AWP, and he didn't get to, because Stown swapped off so early in the round after getting tagged up, so... Yeah, it's a bit of a shame for Harag, but definitely the right call to give in this round. The buy was, you know, pretty risky anyway. They didn't even have full guns, only three rifles. So this doesn't feel uh, like too bad of a call for Heroic. But we're definitely seeing that comeback from Na'Vi, right? It was uh, back on Mirage. It was a strong early start for Na'Vi. Then Heroic got going, and Na'Vi had that second win to win out the half. Feels the same. Flipping and flopping, Heroic never out of the woods. The Lumberjacks of Na'Vi have bought their axe. Their scythe, if you will. Counter terrorists win. Yeah, you're starting to get a little bit worried because of how these rounds are going, if you're heroic, right? These have been four in a row now for Na'Vi. They're starting to establish this money. You touched upon it earlier on, right? How money feels like everything on this CT side. Well, that was the early worry for Na'Vi when they were 5-0 and down. They were going to be stuck, you know, constantly losing rounds, then having a partial buy, then reinvest. And, you know, the game can very quickly spiral away if that's the case. Well, they've completely flipped the script now. It's these saved guns around... You know, a, a bit of a purchase. Heroica in a weird spot with that double save. Hoping they can get away with something here, but Simple oh. constantly pushing the boat out, seeing what he can get away with here, and always keeping you guessing as to where that AWP is going to be. Oh, we have that big smoke as well, the deep one towards the barrel. Na'Vi, like, allowed to take full control of Monster if they want. They're not going to do so, but it's just so scary when Heroic see it. They suddenly slow their round down, they stop committing, and they go, watch out, they might be making a play here. Na'Vi actually used that lull in the action to get set up on a boost on short and bit again wins his kill on the lurker now they recommit out monster or at least refresh will for a moment but no one for sending the site nice shot for stown catches bit going back into the angle and that's going to force a lot of rotation perfecto is now anchoring b and that is still where the majority of heroic is sitting stown is coming back to meet them as well the big problem here for heroic is you don't have any utility to get you into the bomb site that smoke has gone down on default and if anything it makes you feel like it's a fake but navi soon to get control and information on a might allow for this rotate back to b we'll see if boomage goes for it in time he is going to make that call a perfecto playing nice retake if he can get one and get out alive that's massive yeah, Perfecto actually still has the smoke. He tries to throw that out to slow Simple. down the push. 
Oops, the electronic smoke there at Barrels attempts to fight around it, but Kadian will take one out there. Simple, trading it from heaven. The rotations there are great from Na'Vi. It's that re-aggression from electronic on the short side that lets that come through. Yeah, massive 4K for Simple as well, right? Like that that last second rotate is everything for Na'Vi because, you know, Boomich was trying to set Perfecto up to push back in. Uh, he gets caught with nades out. He gets rushed down the rifle, looking like it's going to kill him. And then Simple just comes out of nowhere and eviscerates Heroic one by one, even dropping the AWP on Kadian as well. No clutch today. And Simple's got more spawns. He's going to be using them damn right. Oh, this spam is only setting him up to do so. He's looking up, though. Oh, no. He was ready for short water, but he was not ready for the close peak under. Stown catches him by surprise. Bit still has mid, but he's got enemies on both sides. Yeah, Bit's in a bit of a rough spot. He might just find himself fighting to the death. Him and uh, Boomich looking to retake Connector Ooh. late, and now also a push out through uh -oh. Monster. This is a lot of aggro moves from Na'Vi all in one go. They are next to each other in the <laughs> spot. God, Na'Vi win the round in the blink of an eye. That was a coin toss as to how that smoke fade went. And it was just an all-in execution from Na'Vi. Not even a kill for Heroic. They just get absolutely blown out of the tunnel. And then the player at the back, probably Kadian, right, is, is throwing utilities. He's got nades out. What's he supposed to do? You know, the, the reason that play is awesome as well is a smoke fade. Yeah, they can be 50-50 at times. Like, it depends. If maybe if you're too deep, a leg will show. But at the end of the day, if you're sitting inside the smoke, you're more favored than if you're outside. So Man. that is such a good play for Na'Vi, but insane that it comes through so clean. Yeah, no, that was the thing of beauty. And that's a real feel-good moment as well, because you lose simple yeah. early, you're a little bit worried. Nah, mate, everyone else wins their fight and in an instant, in tandem with one another. What a recovery. 0-5 for Na'Vi, and now they're up by one. And this round, like, you know, it should be a shoe-in. You know, you can always curse anything, but one AK and it's half health, and it's already gone. Now it's just Eagles. Na'Vi are going to have no problem getting rid of this round. So this is Na'Vi likely going up 7-5. That's just impeccable, considering they look pretty locked out of the B-bomb site to start this map. And now you're forcing more and more uh, a variety, variants from Heroic. And none of it's working. Even when they get the openers, they still struggle long term. And yeah, you know, I think a lot of this fear as well comes from how Simple's using the AWP, right? Very, very mobile, as we say. Like, you're always concerned knowing that... Ooh. There's not a lot of consistency to it, right? Like, every corner you go around, Simple could be there waiting for you. Oh. He's already on this rotation, back up to A. Boomich has made the call. Oh, he's dead. He's the man on the front line, and he's throwing out Util. He's going to get chased down by the Diga refresh, so you lose your close toilet player. But this is where you hope the sight hold of Simple and Bit can hold the line. Simple's dead. Uh -oh. Bit does what he can. There is this comp flank from Electronic. Perfecto up through CT. They might and try to pressure, and Electronic here hits the first man down. Tess says still to beat. It's a truck plant out in the open, but he can't back off. Tess says has got to fight for this one in the sight, oh, and he yeah. will swing it out, deals with Electronic. And so heroic find it with the Deagles. Yeah, sorry for saying anything there, right? Like, that definitely shouldn't have Yeah, happened. you even went into it saying you can curse anything. It felt like, oh, uh, well, I didn't think it was that one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, also, that's a very weird round for Boomich because he's sitting there close short. He's throwing all that util, but no one is watching his toilets. Bit's like sitting uh, truck. He's watching long. He's checking toilet. Simple comes up with the AWP and maybe goes like, oh, I have it. But he immediately moves back to the truck position to play a, across or play a bait and switch with Bit. So Boomich is throwing nades. Heroic hears all of this, and you see, I think it was Shush, just come out front toilet and immediately wrap right and chase Boomers. Like, there was no way he was ever going to get anything done with a teammate not baiting for him or trying to trade or trying to cover, uh, and he's watching his own Molotov. So that's a weird setup for Na'Vi. That's a, a mistake they're going to come to regret. But Heroic, hey, more success on the A site, right? At least uh, the, the last time they were there, they got a three on three, they got a post plant, and it was Boomers to double up in bank. So this A site seems to be the way in for Heroic, and they're going to keep trying. Yeah, more early short aggression from Simple and Electronic. And they're going to look to extend that to even taking Monster away. Oh, Simple, other side of the smoke. There's two taking Cod. 
and so he'll just give it up. That is one of the advantages of blowing this door off, right? It lets Simple just get out of there without really having to uh, to risk too much. Like a refresh playing super safe behind the, uh, the, the Duke box as well, the uh, nightclub. We have that again, deep smoke for Na'Vi, keeps forcing respect out of Heroic. They're gonna come back up connector, try and meet Na'Vi in middle, double toilet setup though. Bit's just been dominant here. I think he's lost one fight in toilet to Shush and that's pretty much it, or to Stown rather. Otherwise he's been always good to get one and get out. Behold just standing strong. But Heroic aren't going to take the toilet, not yet at least. The bomb's outside Monster, flashing refresh in to try and get this pick. Na'Vi have given a lot of space towards B, but often playing in the site or playing for retake. This timing is weird. They've just looked away. Stown's going back down. Konto is Boomage. Backstab, baby. There's the kill. And now the B play, the jig, it's up. Yeah. Oh, Shush is going to hold off one, but is he ready for this second man? The answer is no. And this leaves you on these two players trying to worm their way in through Monster. Refresh opens. But there's more where that came from. Kadian with only eight seconds left. He doesn't have the time, but he might be able oh. to get away. He just about lives to see another day. Uh -oh. No, he doesn't. Oh, oh, yes, he does. Kadian keeps that <laughs> off in play. But it's still Na'Vi up onto seven. Oh. Very scary scenes, very scary stuff, but it's all coming out for Na'Vi. Mate, talk about rough timings, you know, like the, the CS timings. This is so true in this round for Stout. He waits patiently at top yeah. con for like 40 seconds in that round and then goes, all right, well, they're not coming. I'll go away. The moment, the physical moment he leaves the angle, that's when they get double pushed through connector. You couldn't make it up. Yes, keep away from that one. One orb, one AK, and a bunch of pistols. They've done it before, they can do it again. Yeah, Simple is once again fighting for Con. Now, it was the early death to Simple last time that got us worried here in the connector. But this time, no one's looking to challenge him. The question is, how long does he hang about here? Is he looking to make a stand in the connector? They run boosting out long just as a precaution, but nobody's here for Na'Vi. Simple will eventually make the call to leave Connector. He's seen a player in mid, and so he's going to take the opportunity just to duck and weave out of there. Wants to hang around somewhat because Bit is here playing the divider. So once again, Bit and Simple are running one of these bait and switch setups similar to the truck one that we saw back in the A-bomb site. Simple hopefully going to reel them in with that AWP while Bit can do the damage. With each passing second, you're getting more and more paranoid about Long. You haven't had info here in the entire round so far. Bit oh. really in the position that could make or break this round. Here comes the execute. Smokes and flashes rain in. Bit's dead right away. And now Simple Short is open. Good! No. Gets shot in the side of the head, but instead it's a head-on fight that removes that orb. The Deagle's going to do it again. Unless Electronic can come up huge. One to his name, but it's a triple swing to close it out. And Heroic will not let their foot off the gas. Deagles don't stop them, mate. They'll still come through with another victory to take seven all. Oh, it's, it's the toilet setups, right? When it's not Lurkers, the big gets the kill on his lonesome. It's these these really awkward toilet setups for Na'Vi. Like, what is that setup there for Bit? It's his best bet, right? It's something different. He's close in divider. He's got to watch two positions at once. And like you said, the second he dies, Simple Short is open. Like, yeah, he gets duck deeged anyway out long. But if Simple, if Simple even gets that kill, he's immediately dead to Sure, there's nothing he can do about it. Na'Vi don't have the cover. So yeah, these, these A pops for Heroic have been their way back into the game. Forget post plants. We're not even getting down to the nitty gritty. They're just executing Na'Vi where they stand. Now they've got confidence. Now they've got faith. Wind in their sails straight to be short. And no money for Na'Vi to contest this. It's a scout. It's a bunch of pistols for crying out loud. And so if you aggress back on the short side, oh, here's a little Vitality pop flash going over. Kadian's ready, though. There's one more flash, there's one more player, but maybe they take it dry. Boomage catches them by surprise, and he only finishes one. Trade is in. Damage to Kadian means nothing, because we've got a lurk out monster that's not being accounted for. Yeah, this is the bomb alone. So Tessas does not want to lose this fight. He won't, <laughs> luckily enough. And so it leaves Simple Scout in a one-on-four. I mean... 
Hell, if he wins it, like... <laughs> yeah, play but he guy. shouldn't. He should never win this round. Simple, dropping into the pit. They are coming his way. This has got to be a clutch of epic proportions, and it's not looking likely. They're wrapping him on the short side, and so Heroic, they close out this first half. Yeah, and while Heroic's T side, you know, features a lot of these fast pops, these, you know, disrespect plays through smokes and the likes. Not expecting that out of now. We've got cooked up for us. I'm expecting a little bit slow, a little bit more methodical right out of the gate. And they're certainly delivering on that. They're working this mid control. They're holding on to the extremities of the B bomb site. I'm talking monster and short. And they're just looking to establish a lot of map control early on, trying to leave heroic guessing as to where this one ends up. Woo, that's a nice shot. And there's more where that came from. Long toilets as well as middle for Cady, and he's playing in a position Simple knows very well. But one that he might not trifle with, not yet. He's still down on B, but the bomb's coming up A. Heroic one info. This could be their undoing. They have a perfect setup. All they need is patience. So Perfecto's got that in spades. Drops the in-game leader. Boomage can't capitalize and refresh. Two shots, two kills. He gets out alive. Tess has not quite the uh, same luck. Simple's dead on his B luck. And this round's all over the place. Heroic drop B for a moment, and then they realize the bomb's up on A. Rotate in for Stown. He's just behind the site in time. Yeah, and with him eluded capture, that's going to cause problems for Na'Vi. Means they're stuck in the reality of a two on three, and they're going to have to look for answers elsewhere. Retaking connector and going down to B, but Shush is already here, and he's going to hear that door swing, able to call it ahead of time. Means Stown is over here in heaven, tapping a couple of shots down range. It's a lot of damage okay. to Perfecto, but Stown's been dropped from the round, and now that bomb plant in, suddenly the scales tipped. Na'Vi looking all right again. Refresh has been spotted on the short oh. side, and they'll cross out of there, trying to play around this bomb. Oh, oh it's an even trade. Electronic tapping away, but he can't quite get Shush out of the round. Yeah, ooh, a little bit of style on it. Oh. And Electronic can't close. It's Shush with all the glory. Three kills in the round, and a pistol found for Heroic. 9-7 up now. And once more, now we're facing the question of can they get these conversions? Oh, Heroic, yeah, stealing that away. And Electronic, he's hitting some light out shots there, but he just went back in very eager to take that final fight. You know, it's easy to microanalyze. Playing the bomb definitely could have been a better way out there for him. Sometimes you're feeling it. Sometimes you just want to catch them by surprise, but Shush tanks the shots and converts a pistol for Heroic. Lovely kills out of refresh and mid as well. He was the MVP of yesterday, and he wants everyone to respect the name again in this semi-final. Conversion, so you're talking about it. It's always a question, especially when a bomb going down and pistol. Navi have immediately bought up. Galil AK, 3D, simple on the best weapon. And that's what you love to see, but close in mid is KD. Hey, yeah. Oh, okay. dead immediately, though. And this is only going to force someone like Tessa to have to hang around and fight this. Yeah. He's dead, not getting anything done. The, the double mid push denied for Heroic and has given Na'Vi a big way into this round. If you remember that Liquid game as well, this is something Tessa did a lot, right? I wonder if we're going to see similar scenes from him where he just sits in party and goes for these late, either flash plays off of his team or he's like the solo A player and he's that info guy, stays party forever, catches you late when you're not expecting it. It's very common play for Tessa, so we'll see if that's something Navi are conned onto. Bit almost gets caught waiting for that smoke to fade. Put down to 10. But, you know, you've got two kills. You've got an MP9. You've got Famas. You are now very dangerous if you're Navi. Simple. Looks for those taps. First, more damage. And Stown, when you get tagged, you just can't go anywhere. You're stuck still like a statue in cement. Five on two. Navi just have to close. Yeah, they're getting out into B while this is happening. Electronic loves these B lurks, right? Ooh. He'll get the info that the site is pretty much clear. However, now they spot refresh over in toilets. They heard that org fire off from heaven. Navi have been poised a bit of a question here. Where are they looking to end up? It's going to be a B drop rejoining Electronic. And just a save out of these two remaining players for Heroic. They're going to try and get away with the famous org combo. Ooh. So once again, Navi not only steal the round away, but they're looking for even more. They want to deny the save. Simple removes the famous from play. And now one big ticket item remains. And Simple does not want to let Shush survive. He doesn't want that org to cause any problems in this follow-up round. 
Not given much of a choice there. The Org does drop him from it, but the rest of Na'Vi are moving in. Yeah, they're at least going to get that AK. So even if they can't take the Org out, you just want all the guns here for Na'Vi. Will the SMG be able to throw himself around the corner? You know Shush ain't far away. Shush, here's the steps. Here come the bombardment of Na'Vi. Triple peaked and a mid-air jump as well. Set to let Electronic up for the kill. Nice round out of simple two on the AK. Three kills from him. And yeah, once they see that Org Heaven, they actually, for a moment, try and go A. And it's that info that, okay, Refresh is still here. That forces the Org back up to the A site. And, you know, when you have a 5v2 like that, 4v2, you just go wherever you, the, to the opposite site where you spotted one. You know either they're playing together or you've got a guaranteed 1v1 rather than walking into one of those stacks. So Navi avoid it. And now pistols for Heroic. No conversion off the back of their pistol win. This is where Na'Vi get even more terrifying. Simple, they know he likes to go long and he is here alone, but patience is the key. There's no flash for Heroic, not in this position. Kadian does have one in middle, but he's scoped up right now. Might not ever get to help his team out. Heroic, wait for that contact. It's not coming. Simple dodges the scout shot. There's the explosion now, but he's already dealt with one. He knows there's more to fight. Oh, the lineup, that is... That is a brutal for Heroic. They end up crossing paths. You never cross the stream, simple. Gonna lock in three kills from it. And now the rest is just a formality to find this equalizer, or so you would like to think. Over here in Con. Oh, well, I was gonna say yeah, Boomage saw him, but... Looking at map or something. That seemed like one of those kills where you're not staring at your crosshair the second you get peaked. Timed, maybe. In-game leader, you know, he's reading. Mate, look, once again, like, they, they see Kadian's the last guy and Simple's like, oh, I'm just going to kill him. <laughs> Hunts him down. I do like how Na'Vi have played these, like, 5 on 2s, 5 on 3s. Like, they know that Heroic on the CT side, we are going to see, like, very measured team play uh, where Heroic, you know, are pop flashing short water. Are, you know, Kadian did lock the flash over long from mid eventually. They are going to be doing these double setups and bait and switches. And so when Na'Vi get the advantage, they just sit, they just wait. They go, yeah, Heroic are hungry. They are keen. They're going to come to us. And they do. But we probably won't have the same, you know, keenness from Heroic once they hit gun rounds. Get a five on four, get out of water, go back to your bomb site. Right now, this is the freest round yet. Na'Vi looking for double digits, and it's on a platter. They've cleaned out B already. Yeah, uh, you know, whenever we have like B-centric plays, you'll often see Bit lurking over towards the toilets. So when the attention's on mid, Electronic loves these walks out, monster. Jesus, oh, simple. Oh, Come on now, leave them alone. Four in the round, they're only USPs, so it's not worth getting too excited about, but geez. Keeps it clean, doesn't he? You don't want to lose any guns here. <laughs> and so you won't, because <laughs> Simple says, nope, no danger today. Deke's still in play, though. This is uh, an interesting buy for Cadian because, you know, it's not like he was going to get the AWP in the first gun round, but, well, you know, he really dug a hole. Yeah, yeah I almost wonder There's if... the ace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they set him up for that. Navi jumped out yeah. mid for the info. They double back, and they just let simple clean house. That's great, though. You know, like, they're having something really fun with it, right? Like, a lot of teams would just hunt down the last guy there and be like, oh, well, aces don't matter. But I, li I like that they go, nah, simple, mate. Get all five. Get in their heads. Build up, my friend. Yeah, this is weird for Heroic, right? Because, you know, they... they like, Navi win that second round fours. Heroic then rebuy, and then they full eco. And even now, into this next buy round, because they spent a good bit in that previous, or like, you know, they bought, they, they bought maybe more than they should. You know, we've not got anything here. We've got a SMG on Kadian for the util. Refresh is on a FAMAS. Already, B mollies have been burned. And so, Heroic, this is a very hard round. They've got to boost up at least. That might catch Navi off guard. I know, with the flash coming over, I don't see a world where that's not checked by Electronic. And yeah, as he moves in, he was looking up at it, considering that boost. It's dismantled by Heroic, so never actually, uh, you know, comes to fruition. But yeah, no, I'm inclined to agree with you, right? This buy puts a lot of pressure on you if you're Heroic to win this round, or else this half is going to start uh, pretty much the same way that, that the first half of play did, with that big, you know, five-round streak for the T side before Munch is able to get get accomplished by the Heroic squad. Tessas has at least alleviated some of this pressure by opening up 
and allowing for this four-man stack down on oh, B. Dear. But they're starting to get impatient. They're wanting results out of the four-man stack. They need to know if they should keep this established. Oh! So they smoke push oh! Na'Vi. Simple mops up both of those kills on the pushing players. And now rotations are getting called for down to this B bomb site. Perfecto flashing Boomich in, looking for these entries. Kadian hidden in the site. Is he going to get discounted? Will they be ready for him? He drops down. They know about him now. And even though he takes one to the grave, it's Tessez left okay. in the clutch. Yeah, bombs loose. It's for the fight right now. Tessez isn't going to let you get comfortable. He wants to swing on sound. Perfecto taps it. Org v Org. Who wins it? Tessez on the angle now. Perfecto peaks and he obliterates him right to the face and right for the taking. 11 to 9 for Na'Vi. They win the first gun round. Off the back of that second round force, Na'Vi have now gone on a horrendous streak of four rounds in a row. And that's a problem for Heroic. You know, we look at the look at the opposites, right? When Na'Vi go for that smoke push in Monster, they get a double kill. They catch Kadian throwing nades. Right there, Simple's throwing flashes. You feel like the timing might get you. And even though that first player dies, Simple pops off with two on the orb. And Na'Vi, and, no worry. Well, so those were like two must-hit shots as yeah. well. And like the only time you have is, is the time cocking the bolt oh, you're between it. And that's the extent yeah. of it. It's like he had to hit those simple does. Those are the frags you rely on him for. And it really does save the round. Uh, now, worst case Ontario for Heroic. This is what we were worried about, right? The Deeks are through again. It's yeah. going to be five in a row for Na'Vi before you're pulling your, you know, your big guns through. But hey, you took five in a row. Remember how this game started. Heroic went up 5-0 on the T side, you know, off the back of winning their pistol, winning a gun round. And then when Na'Vi started to get weapons, they started to get util for the B side. We had the AWP on simple. That's when things turned around and Na'Vi at least pulled a seven round half. So for Heroic, yeah, it looks doom and gloom right now. Now it's not feeling like they're in control, but that is soon to come. They've got time. This round is not in their favor, though. I don't need to say that. You can see the map. Navi are walking into B and it's free. Yeah, once again, spearheaded by Electronic. I think, you know, the, the more you're letting him accomplish from these flanks, the, the more prevalent they're going to become as the game goes on. He knows there wasn't much on the table in this round. And so once more, Simple's been dispatched to hunt down these pistol players. Now, might come to regret it. Good for the double, but that's an AK retrieved, and that's a small victory for Heroic in an unwinnable round. I'm curious if we're going to see, you know, like a double AWP come through for the Heroic squad. Stown's having a bit of a mare, and sometimes, you know, putting an AWP in his hands yeah. can be a good way to reactivate him. Also, a good double AWP map. Cadian's at least saved one, and Stown didn't buy anything into this round. He could get it with armor. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, Na'Vi are pulling away with this game, and so solutions have got to come through for Heroic. They lose this. They're done in the semis. <laughs> oh, Bob does it. That's that's worth it for Shush, right? Like, gets a player, takes him down with him. Thanks to the bomb. But Na'Vi is still fine. They've got three alive. They can continue to rebuy. They've got this nice little streak, the buffer of cash. Yeah. And here's where that double orb the prophesize comes through. Harry, one per sight, split them up. We've got a bit of a spawn in middle as well. So let's see if Kadian can take that and put it to good use, much as Simple did down in connector. Yeah, Kadian's also got, you know, Molotov, so does... Uh... Oh, no, yeah, they do throw that mid molly in just to try and slow down the aggression out of Na'Vi. Na'Vi want to take short, and they want to take it quickly. Oh, this is weird. Two smokes thrown in, and they don't want to go through, so they're having to boost up to clear these angles. It makes them very freaked out. First kill going to be provided by Boomich, though, and it's Tessez to fall. That's a big scalp to find. And now it wouldn't surprise me if Na'Vi kind of sit back and hang out for a while. Instead, they might look to pick up the pace here. They've smoked off heaven, flashes into the site, but no push on the back of it. A kill onto a comp player means you know you've softened up this A-bomb site in the long run, right? This isn't someone responsible for B. This is someone coming down from A. So they're going to duck out of Monster. And this is where they're going to look to reset a bit. Maybe work the A-bomb site. Even if it's not where you look to end up, just making noise here will put pressure on Heroic to rotate more players out of the B site. Or so, that's what you were hoping. With Kadian getting that kill there. 
it's kind of up in the air again. Yeah, that flash on monster saved someone's life from Stown's Orb. Yeah, Acadians big. does pick up oh, one. And this monster setup, Na'Vi never ran monster plays, oh. right? They played from the back of the bomb site. They played from heaven with the orb. Right now, heroic CT setup a monster was the bane of Liquid's existence in some of those early T rounds. Oh, oh legged. Even when you don't have the author here, it's very hard to get through and, well, Refresh will shoot through the wood to find Boom. It just started strong for Na'Vi. It was a five on four, and Heroic picked them apart on both sides of the map. So, yeah, I think as much as Liquid learned and lent away from Monster after a couple of, you know, five-man rushes got decimated by Heroic, I imagine Na'Vi are going to do the same. Even if you want B, more splits, perhaps, more short, focused rounds. Some nice orb shots and even the spam get heroic on the board and that's what we were saying that's what we were waiting for right five in a row for navi we just needed guns harry and there they are doing what they do best yeah it's a bit of a shame because like bit and boomage very much wanted to fake that a play together and it all gets a bit weird like you know bits trying to to see how much room he's got in con gets timing do you understood what navi were trying to do there but Cadian throws a big old spanner in the works Short control taken. Once again, Na'Vi really looking to take this away early on. Don't you I always get nervous when they jump that against Simple, but instead it's down to open onto oh, that man. Going. They're looking to go in on the back of it. Boom, it's brushed aside. It's a team flash from Electronic that gets him wrecked there on the open. I didn't know where to look. Okay. Facto gets that kill, and now you might want to pump the brakes. Electronic has been let loose to play around this smoke, but even he is this wild child of uh, of monster. Might not go further than this. Right, it's big that you were able to pull this back into a three on four in the first place. And he's waited for the smoke to fade. Now creeps out after the fact. There's oh. another into a three on three. Electronic flexing his muscles on the B bomb site. No he's now though. trapped in, and yeah, the bomb's all the way back in T-spawn. That's going to have to be Perfecto to go and grab it. Bits pushed all the way up on A. And if, oh, oh, the timing, man. Bits having a bit of a rough time on these lurks. Perfecto can still rejoin Electronic here, but it should become obvious to Heroic where this is looking to end up. Yeah, no smoke for heaven, no flash, no anything. You've got to fight your way through. And Kadian's here to deny a bomb plant. They might know about his position. They might expect it, but what can you really do? There's the one flash retrieved and used well to get the plant, but they don't know about refresh. He will poke his head out from the water. Electronic backs off for now. Safety. Perfecto, the longer the refresh is here, the less they expect him. He wants both kills. One is not enough for refresh. He wants to double down, spray converted, and the tap to close onto Electronic. That is clinical for refresh, and it keeps heroic breathing. Yeah, that is a, a wonderful little two-piece for refresh. This guy's clean, man. That was a gentleman's way to win that little, uh, you know, <laughs> double kill, the one tap out on the end. This was sick. I didn't even realize he got this kill. You know, Simple getting picked first, that hurts as well for Na'Vi. He's been the top performer. Yeah, a lot of eco kills in the second half, but he's still, uh, you know, over double the next best Na'Vi player. Well, exactly double. So it's uh, it's quite scary for the rest of Na'Vi. If you think about the longevity of this game, heroic, having a second wind off the back of these buys. They do lose out on the second orb. Only Kadian dons his back on the A site. And Tessa's placed down a connector. With the late rifle rounds coming out of Heroic after losing conversions, they had to find success, and so it's very fortunate they have. Refresh. Don't want to tangle with this guy. Not oh. with the game he's having, and Electronic doesn't see him climbing up the railing. They can't trade it. They have a deep con player, but there's still Tessas there to worry about. Navi are going to go elsewhere. Nice. Good thing there was no one there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so long taken with that, you know, run boost. More of a dribble than anything. And Perfecto still waiting down here in Khan. Simple might be scoped up on A, but that bomb is going back. Towards B, Tessas could oh, hit no. this timing. Bit is up in the toilets. Oh, no. Perfecto is passive. It kind of, I think it lulls them into a bit of a false sense of security when it comes to Con. Oh. 
Now Perfecto smoked off as well, and that kill onto Bit might be something that strips the round away, really. Yeah, this is a save, man. In some of these rounds for Na'Vi just look so confused, right? Like, they don't win the first fight, and, and it all just kind of crumbles. Even in that first gun round, they did take down Tessas from Com, but Perfecto's lurking connector, and, you know, Tessas smokes him off. He's probably conked a bit. Yeah, mate, I haven't cleared it, but I've been here all round. I've seen, I've heard nothing. You're probably fine. Bit runs back out to set B with his knife. And heroic. I mean, they don't even have to do all too much. They just have to be patient, hold their spots, not bring in the fight to Na'Vi like maybe they wanted. And it's working wonderfully. Now equaled up 12-12. Heroic holding on. As much as it did for Heroic as well in that first half, right? They started to find salvation in these late long hits, these top site executes when they work a lurk through toilets. Tess is blind. He just gets back in time, though. And now a little more noise made for Perfecto. He doesn't want to just be left doing nothing. Yes, you wants to take this space. Smoke's going to have a big gap, though. Right at the end. Playing with them. Door off. Or open, rather. All this distraction, though, is nothing but that. Navi are working three mid. Yeah, this round already has, you know, more direction behind it in this mid grouping to try and secure this control. If Tessas does decide to hang around and fight this, he might be in for a rough time. They're walking the smoke and taking long toilets. Even though he re-smokes it, they've still got the real estate they came into the round looking for, right? Which was this long side of the toilets they can set up here to try and flush Tessas out. Navi group B, they forced the third rotate up to A. No, Simple's grabbing the bomb to regroup with his toilet's control. Heroic have to read right now. They got Shush playing close monster as well. Refresh task with so, short. Two players is enough for B, given what the info that Heroic have. Yeah, eventually Electronic's gonna have to do something. And even just making noise like this is fine, right? With flashes raining over from Perfecto in Con, says. you're hoping that this draws rotations out of Heroic, but they don't buy it for a second. Oh, oh, Simple. Oh, no. God, that's the tag. He heard it. He knows. Tess says we'll get one, but Perfecto trades it. There's 15 seconds as they're attempting this A take. It's uh -oh. been all build up, but they need to nail the finish. And Kalian shuts down the first man in. Even one more kill would have been enough. But the plot. Oh, oh, it's denied. Refresh strips it away from them. He ended the hopes of NA, and now he's hoping to do the same to CIS as well. That's a quick shot from Simple to keep the AWP in play, but it's still heroic up in the lead. The lineup, man, the lineup. Oh my goodness. There was no way for Na'Vi. That's the issue with these rounds when they come so late. Simple, you could see that coming. You could see it ticking through his brain. Maybe I should wallbang this. Maybe it couldn't hurt. And even though Kadeen hits his shot as well, he gets instant traded and refresh, does everything necessary. That's the cock biting Na'Vi back. It's a classic. It's exactly what we have seen on overpass before for this team. Even though they get the entries, nothing can afford to go wrong. And when it does, oh, it goes so wrong. Tess says now he's had enough of waiting around, but maybe he should be back to his con holds because Bits just deeped him out the server. Heroic won a bunch of rounds akin to this, right? Deagles with a solo orb with maybe one rifle. Na'Vi have now got a five on four in that exact position. Simple's still armed. Bits got his gun. The world is your oyster. And Heroic are gambling. Just shush at B. The Reagro is nice, though. Yeah, providing it does allow for that rotation, which we see Cadian, you know, up and leaving now and going back down towards this B bomb site. Bit's not going to go any further than this. He's just looking to group with the team, just looking to play a numbers game. So Resmoke over. That's Cadian throwing that from A. Shush makes first contact over in Monster. Is this going to draw rotations out of Heroic? Kadian seems sold, so he's coming down now from this upper site. Navi is still slow on the approach. This is giving time, admittedly, for Heroic to doubt themselves, but they look more convinced than ever that this is the B play. In come Navi. Shush still waiting down in the pit. A missed shot from Kadian at least gives this site control up to the Navi squad, but they're not so lucky the second time around. There's oh. Shush with another. Oh, make it a double. A three on two, and they're falling like flies. Only Simple left. One on three with this AWP. Stounds out through the short side, and Simple's got no oh. idea. 
but Stown's wrapping monster. Stown has not cleared short properly. They're anticipating a monster post plant from Simple, and that could not be further from the truth. Tap on the bomb. Now they know. First shot hits, but it's not meant to be. It's 14 on the board. Heroic come through with the retake. Simple doing every everything he can at 31 kills deep. Yeah. We just need that second player alongside him. It's just so slow, man. These rounds are just taking too long. Like, Heroic is so good at gaining info. That's twice now. The Heroic have lost Tessas within the first 10 seconds. They're really not. And uh, it's going to feel like a real grind to even get back into this one. And one round win's not going to be enough to ruin Heroic's day. Shush has even taken liberties now, pushing the connector. Perfecto is off the times. Missed timings, oh. and this one, it's not a missed timing, but it is an opening kill in favor of Heroic. So often when this happens, Na'Vi just kind of crumble if they lose this early man, and oh, it's only oh, getting two. worse by the second. Not a trade in sight. Four-man B stack for Heroic that can start to get dismantled. You're no longer feeling this pressure of a sudden B hit and getting overwhelmed. You could just fine leave two players here to hold on. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Na'Vi walking into a three-on-three -three at this A bomb site, and it just feels a bit predictable at this point. I think it's probably pretty easy for Kadian to figure out what the response is going to be here. Yeah, stack is correct yet again. And in a three on three on this A site now, that's not going to be nice to Na'Vi. Refresh has his close position that Boomich ran, but the difference is between Na'Vi and Heroic is he has support. He has an all helping out. Refresh needs no help. He takes the first. There's Kadian poking his head out. No one will take down Refresh, not with the AWP in play. And that's Heroic holding on, finding 15 first. These setups are just completely different. They're just, you know, Heroic are far more experienced on this map. They're, they're, they're far more comfortable and that much is showing. It's even a fear for Na'Vi, who maybe they go through and they still win this series on Nuke. Hey, maybe they still win here. But regardless of what happens, we go into that grand final. You got Vitality. They're a great overpass team as well. That's something Na'Vi have to be very scared about. I mean, they're not thinking that feeling like right now. You know, Heroic can pop there. They're well and truly happy with this comeback. And they've had every read. They've had every, you know, been ahead every step of the way. Back into middle for Na'Vi. Another one of these slow rounds. Heroic were expecting a B rush, right? They started four down lower. Leaving Kadian on the top site is just enough, right? He can get a good amount of information. And when have Na'Vi ever been quick to you know, get up into those toilets and you know charge A? Kadian knows he has a bit of a timing before he needs to worry about whether these T's are up close. And even with that deep smoke, they might go through it. Tessa just flashes and up they go, boosting on the corner. This is perfect. Kadian set up for a free kill. Na'Vi consider no one at this corner. And so they won't peek it anyway. Still defaulting, clearing the toilets. This is still a lot, a lot faster for Na'Vi and it's hilarious to say that. We're at 50 seconds and they're at least up on the short side. Still got room to move though, and it's all a bit of a ruse as they back down into B. The three-man setup still there. Rogue won't budge a muscle. That flash even misses to oh. get them out connected. Oh. Luckily, no punishment. Navi, here they go into the lion's den. 30 seconds to go. You can't let the clock cost you the map. They're... And so up they go. What could go wrong? Yeah, they're going back up into A. Now, this is at least where Heroic only up two, but it's a nice setup. It's a bait and switch between the Orp of Cadian and Tessa's waiting in the long cubby. 15 seconds as Navi try to move in. Anything could go wrong. So much could happen. Tessa's hasn't been checked. Oh, oh Boomich oh. will flick back. And so with seconds to spare, Navi! Oh, oh. They get the bomb down, and Boomich, <laughs> luckily enough, this guy's Ooh. built different. If he died to that nade, that was the game. Yeah, it actually came after the plant, so it, it, it was a bit, it would have been fine, but that's a, a fine margin to cut for Heroic, right? A second earlier and a little bit better placed, and suddenly you win the map. My goodness, that would have been one horrible way to lose in this semi-final, but Navi, hold on. First round after six in a row for Heroic. Saves are called. Definitely the right one for Heroic, right? They've still got a good bit of money. It's not like Na'Vi have even made many of these rounds close, but they want to maximize that money. Electronic wants anything but clearing this corner at the last second, but what a weird angle for Shush. He'll send him to bed. He'll keep him quiet. And now Na'Vi have to fight for overtime. Need two in a row. Boomich, absolute hero.
Yeah, man. I mean, you know, if we can get more around, like, if anyone on Na'Vi is going to be the guy to try and lead from the front and get in there ahead of time, it's going to be Boomich. If we can get more of these openers coming through from this guy, maybe there's hope. And... You know, I, I just, I get so nervous with how close they leave this yeah. to time, right? Overpass is like the classic Na'Vi run out of time again map. Or is it? And so this round, they try to surprise wow. us all with a fast B plan. Heroic are not ready for this at all, mate. They've got utility out. Still, Stout comes through with a kill on that AWP. And rotations are now being called for. Na'Vi in the sight, oh. but they're losing numbers left and right. Bomb's going down, but a three on five is needed out of Na'Vi. And they're not allowed to get comfortable. They're not allowed to get set up. They've got to fight this every step of the way. Oh. Simple mistiming back on the angle again. There's another player at Monster, but he doesn't finish the job. There's Kadian to deal with that AWP. Electronic and Boomich have got to do it all. They're double set up in water. Far from ideal. Utility oh, reigns oh, oh. over. Electronic's getting uncomfortable. Heroic are going for the throw. Electronic and Boomich do everything they can. But in the end, it's not enough. Heroic locking in a victory here and making this a...